Hey, today we're going to be talking about the hotkey editor. Hotkeys in Maya are super customizable and make your life so much easier, speeding up how fast you work. If I were you, I'd spend some time working out which tools you use the most, and then spend a little more time setting them up as hotkeys. Practice with these hotkeys, and soon you'll be super efficient in Maya. Right, so to get into the hotkey editor, you're going to want to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and then down to Hotkey Editor. Here you have a couple of options. If you look where it says Edit Hotkeys for, and go to the menu items, you'll see it shows every command from the menu sets. If you go to File, you can see it has all the basic hotkeys set up, New Scene, Control N, Save Scene, Control S for example. Down here you can search for what you're looking for. For example, let's type Outliner. Let's make it so we can open the Outliner with Alt O on the keyboard. To do this, click here where it's blank and type your hotkey. You can even toggle between On Press or On Release depending on what you prefer. Click Save, you know you're all good when you get the green tick. So now in my, when we click Alt O on the keyboard, it should open up the outliner, like so. Another way you can create hotkeys, and it's the way I prefer to make them, is to create custom ones. Something I'm always doing when I'm modeling is deleting edge loops. You can do this by going to edge mode and selecting the edge and then hitting Control delete to move both the edges as long as the vertices. I went ahead and mapped these two commands to one hotkey. So now if I select one edge on the loop and I press Alt C on my keyboard, it removes the whole loop. It's a combination of two tools and to create this hotkey it's quite simple. Just so you know, I prefer using Alt in my hotkeys as it's less likely to already be assigned to another hotkey inside of Maya. To create a custom hotkey inside of Maya, what you have to do is go where it says Edit Hotkeys for, change that to Custom Scripts. You'll see that I already have a few down here, so Alt W for my wireframes to toggle that. So you'll see what happens now if I press Alt W. I have X-Ray, which turns on X-Ray mode. Obviously I have Alt C for my edge loops and delete. And I also have Alt G to toggle my grid, because sometimes that's quite useful to get that out of the way. I'll show you how I created my edge loop and delete hotkey. So to do this, the first thing you want to do is select the whole loop based on which edge you have selected. Search for the two edge loop tool by typing loop in the search bar. Click it so you can see the command and then copy the command for use in a second. Go back to custom scripts and create a new hotkey by clicking new. Paste in the copy command and let's go ahead and name this hotkey. Make sure you use underscores rather than spaces as the hotkey editor doesn't like spaces. Click save and let's assign a keyboard combo as the hotkey. I'm going to assign Ctrl Alt C as I've already assigned Alt C in my other one. So now when we do Ctrl Alt C on this edge, it selects the whole loop. This is perfect, but we need to combine the delete tool to create the desired hotkey. Go back to menu items and search for delete. Now copy the command for the delete tool, which deletes edges and vertices. It should have the Ctrl Delete shortcut. Go back to your custom scripts and click the edit button to make a change. Paste the new command after the first line and put a semicolon to end it. Finally save it and we're all good to go. You can actually perform any Mel or Python script in this box and assign a hotkey to it. For example, I have this copy UV button in my shelf. If I click edit, you can see the Python script which I could copy and paste into the new hotkey if I had a need to do so. Thanks for watching. There are so many ways to use hotkeys to automate repetitive tasks. If you have any useful hotkeys, please leave them in the comments. I'm going to be putting mine in the description. Likewise, if you get stuck at any point, just comment your questions and I'll respond as soon as possible. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah,